Hey everyone and Happy New Year! Uh, today I'm here with my long-awaited uh, What I Got for Christmas video. Uh, this was requested for me to do by one of my blog readers. Uh, her name is also Amanda, so hello! This is especially for you since you're the one that requested it in the first place. Um, and I know this is really late, I'm really sorry about that, but most of my Christmas gifts were like uh, bought with Christmas money, so I wanted to wait for them to all get here in the mail because I like ordered some stuff online, and so I wanted to wait for them all to arrive so that I could um, put all of them together in a haul. So that's why it's so late, but I am really sorry about that. Um, also, I also apologize for not being around a lot on this channel. The holidays have kind of caught up with me, and it was all kind of crazy, and I was spending a lot of time with family and friends, so I really apologize for that, and hopefully I can pick this channel back up. Uh, but I'm just gonna go ahead and get into my haul. I've got a lot of things to share with you guys So I'm just gonna get into it. The first thing I'm gonna show you guys is what I got in my stocking every year We have uh, like little tiny gifts in our stockings and then we have individual presents from each of our family members So I'm gonna start with what's in what was in my stocking this year. The first thing that I got um, were two DVDs you guys know how much I love my DVDs um, and my action and epic adventure movies. So I got two epic action adventure movies and these are the two of them. I got Pacific Rim, the Blu-ray uh, DVD and digital, digital download um, edition and it's got this like awesome cover. Like I love that. And then I also got The Hobbit and Unexpected Journey which, sorry the glare's really bad, but uh, this movie is awesome and I really really like it. So I was really happy to get both of these. I did squeal a little bit, uh, and it kind of annoyed my sister, so yeah, um, but these were really great. I watched Pacific Rim when we went ice skating, and then I haven't watched The Hobbit yet. I'm probably going to watch that pretty soon, but yeah, two great DVDs for me to get obsessed with again. I also got down to the bottom of my stocking, and I got some makeup products. I got three products from the Lion Sally Girl, which is not a very well-known line, but I love their stuff. It's really good quality and long-lasting. So I got two eyeshadows. I'll start off with those. I got two eyeshadows. I got a shimmery uh, pinkish colored eyeshadow that looks like this, and I got a baked bronze eyeshadow, which I think is really cool. My sister helped my mom pick this out because I've never tried baked eyeshadows before, but I've always wanted to, but I'm not very brave, so I was like not brave enough to try it myself, but I'm finally going to get up the guts, if you will, to try it out, so I'm really excited for that, and um, I think that was really cool. And then I also got a nail polish from Sally Girl, which is basically just chunks of glitter, which I thought was really cool because I've never had something super glittery for um, nail polish, and usually I don't wear super glittery nail polish at all, ever, so that was pretty interesting to unwrap. My sister teased me a little bit about that. I also got two e.l.f. products. I got e.l.f.'s Shimmer Eyeliner Pencil in black, which I think is pretty cool. It's just a plain black eyeliner pencil, and I like how it has a sharpener in the cap because I don't have a um, eyeliner sharpener pencil, pencil sharpener thingy -ma bobber mostly because I don't use um, pencil liners all that much. I normally use um, liquid liners, so that was really nice. I also got an e.l.f. Luscious Liquid Lipstick in the shade Maple Sugar, that it just is this color. And I haven't worn this yet, I was waiting mostly to do this this haul uh, before I wore it, but now I'm going to wear it and I think it'll look pretty nice, it seems like a good skin color um, for me. I think my sister helped my mom pick this out as well, so kudos to you Jade for knowing all of my shades sometimes better than I do. Moving on to what I got for actual presents. Uh, the first thing that I unwrapped on Christmas Day was actually a gift from a friend, and this was probably one of the uh, best presents I got this year. Uh, you guys know that I am very, 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 very obsessed with the Percy Jackson series by Rick Riordan. Um, it's probably one of my all-time favorite book series ever. Um, and so I unwrapped this gift and I squealed. My sister says the whole county heard me squeal. Because, ladies and gentlemen, I got a Camp Half-Blood t-shirt. Oh yes, my friends. I am now an official camper. I was so happy to get this shirt. I just freaked out. I squealed. I was like saying, oh my gosh, like 10,000 times. And this is like, I don't even know where you get these shirts, but this was really, really cool. So I freaked out. And I immediately put it on and I wore it for the rest of the day. If you guys watched my Vlogmas videos, you'll see that I did wear my Camp Half Blue shirt. If you follow me on Instagram too, but definitely, definitely most awesome present ever. I was so excited to get this and it was definitely, definitely 
wow, I did not expect this, and it was really cool. So now I'm, offici I'm officially a Greek demigod. I'm not a Roma demigod. My, that's my sister, but I'm a Greek now, so yay! I'm going to go through the stuff that my parents got me first because that's just... How we do. No, I'm kidding, but I don't know, just because. So the first thing, uh, my mom got me this sweatshirt from Target, and I asked for this, um, and she was able to get it. And it's just a pink, um, like sort of a dusty pink colored top, and it's got little um, like stud details um, all along the front, which is really cool. And it's long sleeved. It's really, really warm and cozy. And I was really, really thankful to get this because I don't have a lot of. Um, like decorative sweatshirts like this and it's nice because I don't have to try to try too hard to look cute it just kind of you throw it on and that's it so that was really nice to get I'm really thankful that I got that my dad got me this um adipose which I was this was like one of the top things on my Christmas list and I was so glad to get this for those of you guys that don't know this is an adipose he's from Doctor Who um, he's just a cute little, he's a stress toy actually. In the TV show, the adipose was basically an alien that sprouted from human fat. Kind of gross, I know, but come on, look at this face. How can you not love this face? Like, just look at it. Look at his little tooth and his little eyes and oh, he's so cute. You just want to like, just squeeze him and kiss his little head. That was probably kind of weird. I'm sorry, guys. But yeah, so I got the little adipose guy, which was really, really awesome. Another thing that I got from my mom was a pair of Genuine Leather Driving Gloves, which I was really, really thankful to get because I am starting to drive. You guys already knew that, though, hopefully. Um, and <clears throat> when it gets cold, like when I'm out driving in the nighttime especially and it gets kind of cold, I don't want to wear my knit gloves because they sort of slip and slide on the steering wheel and it makes me really nervous. So I asked for a pair of leather driving gloves. These also have touchscreen capabilities, like the... Um, the pointer finger and the thumb have touchscreen tips, so I can work my phone and my iPod with these. So these are just going to kind of be my um, everyday gloves whenever I'm going out and it's cold outside. These are going to be the gloves that I want to wear, and they're really, really comfortable. They have a thin slit lining, which is the best sort of insulated lining you can get, and they fit me very snugly, uh, and they just look like this. And my sister calls these my evil villain gloves because of how I put them on. For as long as I can remember, I've put gloves on like this. And apparently that looks like I'm an evil villain, and I don't know why, but, you know. So my sister gave me a heck ton of presents, most of them being books. So she probably hates herself for giving me all these books because I am a complete and utter fangirl, as you guys all know. So um, <clears throat> from my sister, I got three books that I asked for, and... They are all Mortal Instruments books. I now own all the books in the series that have uh, that are out so that, so far. I've got City of Lost Souls, City of Glass, and City of Ashes, and um, she got me the paperback versions of all of them. And um, I love her because she got me used books. I know that sounds weird, but used books have already been broken in. They've already been well loved, and I get to kind of give them a new home and enjoy them some more, so I don't know, I just like broken in books a lot. And then she got me the British copy of City of Lost Souls, which is comparatively smaller to the American copies that I have of the other books, but it's still pretty cool, and I like how small and compact it is, like I can put it in my bag with no problem, so I'm not complaining, I just thought it was interesting, but I did have to break this one in a little bit, uh, which made me nervous because um, I don't like breaking in books, I'm afraid I'm going to bust the Okay, so then I also unwrapped some presents from my grandparents um, because I got some things mailed to me uh, and then I also got some money so I'm going to kind of just do all of that at once. The thing that I got mailed to me, I'm actually wearing it right now, and it is this necklace. I will take it off so you guys can see it properly. Um, <clears throat> it was ordered off of Etsy by my grandparents and it came in this little word bobbles box. And that's the brand is Word Bobbles. And it's a resin plated necklace. Um, and it says, it's just a plain plaque with a silver chain. And it says, she believed she could. Sorry, I don't know if you can see that. But it says, she believed she could, so she did in typewritten font. And I really liked this necklace when I saw it online. It was pretty cheap, so I sent the link to them and asked them if they would um, put that on my Christmas gift idea list. And lo and behold, here it is. This is one of the two items that I'm wearing all the time now. This is going to be like one of my staple pieces of jewelry. Even though I might, you might not always see me wearing this, know that for the most part when I am on camera I'm wearing this even if it's just like tucked into my shirt. 
just because it's a really good reminder, especially with the new year. Um, this is kind of my motto. My mom even said, she's like, hey, you should you should get that because it's like your mo your life's motto. So I was like, okay. So yeah. Um, also sent me a lot of money. My grandparents did. So I did do some shopping and I'm going to go through all of these why well, spoils of war now, I guess. The first thing I got were two hair bows from Claire's. I got a black one and a white one because I like to have one of each color. Um, I like how small they are. I can't figure out how to get them to stay in my hair though, which was probably a bad idea, but I will figure it out. But yeah, I've always liked the bow trend. I just never really decided to get some bows, but got some bows. So that's that's pretty cool. And then I also got a pair of flats from uh, Cotton On, which if you don't know what that is, it's just a, a clothing store for guys and girls. And they're just a pair of quilted flats. I love quilted flats, but I never, again, made myself get any. But these were only five bucks and I couldn't resist. But they just have, I haven't like taken the elasticy things off yet, but they're just um, basically quilted with um, gold studs and a gold, um, gold tipped bow on the toe. And they're really, really pretty. Now I will warn you, Cotton On's shoes are pretty narrow and they're also in U European sizes. So you might have to hunt a little bit to like find the size, but I promise they're worth it. Their shoes are really, really cute. And these were also the last pair, so I was so happy that I got these. The final thing that I got with my Christmas money from my first set of grandparents was the entire trilogy, and they're out of order, of The Infernal Devices by Cassandra Clare. Here they all are. I'm sort of obsessed with Cassandra Clare, if you haven't noticed. Her writing is phenomenal. I love her books so freaking much. And so I decided to get the Infernal Devices series. This series broke my heart. It ripped my heart out. I'm not kidding. It was so sad. I get emotionally attached to characters, okay? And like everybody dies. Okay, not everybody. Okay, only one person dies really, but he was like my favorite character. So like I'm not happy right now because he died and I haven't gotten over that yet. But anyways, um, I got Clockwork Princess, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Angel and they're all out of order. Um, I got the um, soft cover versions of Clockwork Angel and Clockwork Prince and the hardcover version of Clockwork Princess, which has a family tree of some of the families um, on the dust jacket. Whoa, here we go. Has a family tree, which was funny because my sister and I were like looking at them and like just like laughing because we like, um, this is like a prequel series to the Mortal Instruments, so we can like track the family tree down and see like who who gave birth to who and who ended up with who and so we're just kind of laughing at all that and it's really hard to understand if you haven't read the books but take it from me we thought it was pretty funny also from my other set of grandparents I got a little bit of money as well and I decided to spend that on another Cassandra Clare book I know I promise this is the last one you guys I'm almost done but I got the Shadowhunters Codex which if you guys don't know what this is it's like a companion I guess to the Mortal Instruments and Infernal Devices it's basically like the Shadowhunters manual for everything like their stuff about their history their founding demons warlocks fairies werewolves vampires everything basically so this is really fun this is kind of like the nerd's guide to the shadow hunters world that's what it should have been called so i really enjoyed this also lots of uh witty inscriptions in the margins and drawings um and those made me laugh out loud and then made me want to smack somebody so i beat up my sister yeah, she was there and I'm really nice to her. I love this binding. It looks really, really cool on my bookshelf, but yeah. Codex. It's awesome. The nerd's guide to the Shadowhunters world, but it's still awesome. And finally, on the day after Christmas, I went to see The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smog, I think it's called. I think that's what it's called. But I went to see that with uh, my boyfriend and we exchanged Christmas presents. I was not expecting to get, well, I mean, he told me he was going to get me something, even though I told him he didn't have to, but, um, so he did get me something. He got me a scarf, which is really cool, and he picked this out himself, which is, like, really surprising to me, but he's got good taste, and he knows what I, the sort of things I like, but it's like a knit crocheted pattern, um, like this, and it's black on one side and white on the other, so it goes with basically anything. It's also got elastic in it, so it's bouncy, so I spent, like, a long time just, like, sitting there bouncing it around because I'm just really cool like that. <laughs> And so that was really nice, and I've already worn it a couple times, and it's really nice and soft and snuggly and, you know, it's a scarf. I like scarves, as evidenced by this. And the other thing he got me, I'm actually wearing it right now, this is the other piece of jewelry that I barely ever take off, and it's this bracelet. I know, it's, it's, um, it's, <laughs> I don't even know what the word is I'm looking for. I'm also, like, you guys can't tell, but I'm blushing right now. I'm sorry. I'm like such a girl when it comes to this sort of thing, but he got me a bracelet. It's uh, silver uh, interlinked hearts, um, and it's 
very durable, which is good because I beat up on bracelets a lot, but this um, camera does not do it justice. It is the most beautiful piece of jewelry I have ever received, and it's from him, so it makes it even more special, but I'm like, my face is on fire. I'm sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, so I squealed a little bit when I opened this, and... So that was everything that I got for Christmas this year. I'm sorry again that this video was so late. Hopefully I'll do better next year. Um, but anyways, leave a comment below with what you guys got for Christmas because I'd love to hear. And let me know which videos you want me to post for you guys in the upcoming year because honestly I'm running out of ideas for videos and I need help. So please feel free to comment and tell me what you guys would like to see from me on this channel. Also, be sure to check out the down bar because I do have some new links and updated links posted there and I won't want you guys to miss out. And also, you guys feel free to follow me on Instagram because I've got a lot of interesting photos on there as well as my Fun With Mandy's Adipose series, which you guys will either be scarred for life about or you'll really enjoy. I don't know, it's really your call, but I'm going to go ahead and go. I hope you guys had a fabulous 2013 and here's to a wonderful 2014. Bye!